Hi, welcome to the Lionel Collectors Club YouTube channel. I'm Ed, and today I've got a great video for you. We had the opportunity to film Al and Cindy Mady's beautiful train collection. Let's take a look. Al and Cindy's train room is so massive it occupies a number of rooms in their home. Each room is themed, so for this video, let's start by exploring the post-war room. The room is 12 by 18, and Al has six tracks he can run trains on. One is elevated using a viaduct that his son created. Plasticville is Al's buildings of choice, with some other surprises tucked in. Let's take a quick tour. These folks in the trailer park are having a barbecue today. Check out the classic cars at the Frosty Bar. Al's farmer market is bustling. Frank's seems to be busy today as well. These folks are patiently waiting for the next train, and downtown is hopping. The gang car is moving workers to the Navy Yard as the train leaves with loads of rockets. Wonder what the conversation at this camp is about under the bridge. As daylight turns to night, the scenes change. Al has used all LED lighting to illuminate his structures. Everything looks very different at night, and the layout takes on a special glow. Like a lot of collectors, the first train I got from my father um, started it all. And um, the most exciting time of the year, Thanksgiving, uh, the platforms uh, come down, uh, the old homosote 4x8s and uh, the family all together built uh, a beautiful layout. This layout with its tubular track, classic trains in Plasticville, is reminiscent of the layouts many of us had as kids. Moving into the big room, your eye moves to the outer walls. As you can see, there are trains from floor to ceiling. Steam, diesel, passenger, freight, it's all here. Some sections even hold an entire catalog year of Lionel production. This 18 by 48 center room will house the main layout. The big layout, currently the plan has 40 switches on the big uh, layout that I'll be working on. Al is planning two passenger lines with sidings and three upper level freight main lines with sidings. A friend of mine um, who was a neighbor when I went to college, he comes over and we have a special bench that we use to repair all of the post-war transformers and trains for um, fellow collectors in the areas as well as the large collection that I have. His name's Harold Stein. Cindy is passionate about tin and standard gauge trains. They recently acquired a substantial standard gauge collection. Work has begun on building that display. However, they let us in for a sneak peek of what will be in store for us in the very near future. I have seen the Lionel No. 55 1935 airplane in books, but never in person and never actually running. And this is hopefully the first phase of Ed coming here to film the post-war, but we have some exciting layouts that are in progress um, that I hope we'll be back again in and uh, do some more videos. Many thanks to Al and Cindy for sharing this wonderful collection. And good news, we're invited back as things progress. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, please take a moment to like and subscribe. For the Lionel Collectors Club of America, Thank you for watching.